for Governor Walker's plan to cut senior care. The proposal would require enrollees to first sign up for the Medicare Part D prescription drug program and use senior care as a supplement. Today, those who oppose the plan held a news conference in the Fox Valley. NBC 26's Alexis Santos was there and has more. Governor Walker under fire in recent weeks following his proposed budget cuts. Some opposed to his plan to cut senior care funding are speaking out today. His cuts to senior care coupled with his partisan refusal to bring federal Medicaid funds back to our state makes for a bad deal for all of us. The senior care program offers seniors a more affordable option for getting their medicines. Those opposed to the funding cuts worry that some seniors may no longer be able to pay for their prescriptions. But the issue is complex. A spokesperson for Governor Walker released this statement, quote, by having eligible individuals first enroll in Medicare Part D, state funds for senior care will be preserved for wraparound services for drugs that Medicare Part D may not cover. Some say at the end of the day, the budget needs to be fixed. And I, I don't like to see the senior, senior citizens cut at all, but I still would like to see the budget taken care of. Political analyst Michael Kraft says anytime there's a deficit, it's tough for all sides to agree. People will come to different conclusions about what, what decisions to make. Which programs deserve the highest priority and which can go away or manage with fewer funds. But many say no matter where you cut the budget, someone will feel the effects, whether positive or negative. In Appleton, Alexa Santos, NBC 26. Some state legislators are circulating a petition to keep senior care as it is. They did the same thing back in 2011 when senior care cuts were last proposed. Those cuts were shot 